Hey everybody, I'm going to make a punch bowl cake today. It's been years since I made this cake, and uh, but tomorrow's the 4th of July, and I thought it would be a great cake to make. Um, this cake can be made several different ways. You can use fresh fruit, uh, coconut, anything you want to put in it. But today, I am using a Jell-O Instant Pudding. I'm using two containers of Cool Whip. I'm using a can of pineapples crushed, a can of cherry pie filling, a yellow cake mix. I'm using some pecans, and here's the jello pudding. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bake the cake according to directions and let that cool. I'm also going to make the vanilla pudding according to directions and let that cool. And when all that's cool and ready, I'll come back and put the cake together for you. It's like a trough. It's made in layers. I'll be back. All right, everybody. Let's see if we can put this cake together. I've got my crushed pineapples drained in a bowl. I've got my cherries. I already opened them in a can. Here's my pecans. I've got a, a cup and a half of pecans. I'll probably use all those. Here's the cake. I cut the cake up into squares. Here is one of my Cool Whip things. Here is my Jello pudding already made. Look, it's really set. <laughs> All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to line the bottom. And I hope you're uh, seeing this. I've never worked with a tripod. But it doesn't matter. This cake is a messy cake, and it does not matter. How it goes in there, you'll probably have two layers of cake. I've got boo-boos on my arms, so try not to look at them. Anyway, so there it is. There's one layer. And what we're going to do is we're going to put half the can. Um, well, let's put it this way. I don't like a whole lot of toppings, but we'll see what it looks like. It's probably going to be a half a can of cherries in this layer. Now this is a messy cake and really it, you, it needs to be put in a glass um, punch bowl but you know I don't have one of those. So and really this bowl is too big but that's alright it doesn't matter. Okay we got the cherries in there. Now I'll probably put half of this jello pudding half of the jello pudding I hope you're getting to see this. I don't know if you are or not. But like I said, it doesn't matter. Um, doesn't matter that it's messy because this is a messy cake. It's all going to be good and delicious. Yes, it is. Okay, there's half my jello. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put half of my pineapples. And I'm going to use my fingers. i got clean hands. And I'm just going to use my fingers to spread this pineapple. I've really got too big of a bowl. It doesn't matter. This is just for James and me and... Okay, there's my pineapple. Now, next thing I'm going to add, I may not need both Cool Whip things, I don't know yet. Because I'm going to spread a layer of Cool Whip. But I probably will. I'll probably put this whole, this whole thing of Cool Whip right here and push these layers down. What I'll do is I'll mash these layers down. It's been so long since I made this cake. Still in my pajamas. It's in the morning. Baby's asleep in there on the chair. He's doing pretty good. <laughs> Alrighty. I got my other thing. Get out of here, you gnat, whatever you are. Anyway, you spread that down and just tap it a little bit. Okay, here's my other thing, Cool Whip. Now I'm going to put the rest of this cake, oh, oh, forgot something good. Put 
layered nuts. This is really a good cake. It's been a long time since I ate it. All right, there's a layer of nuts. Now, take your cake, put your next layer of cake, and you can push down on it a little bit. Not going hard at one bit. Well, no, this bow might be just the right size for this guy, <laughs> for this cake. <laughs> Oh, but you see how that's going in there? And you know what you could do? You could probably make two round cakes and just instead of chopping them up like that, just put the round cakes in there. So we got that right there. Now we're going to go back to how it was. Going to put your cherries on there. The rest of the cherries. They're really colorful, colorful cake. I hope you're getting this because this is a one-shot deal. If I'm not getting it in camera. <laughs> all right, we'll spread that on there a little bit. Get all that good cheese. You can put strawberries. I got me a mat or something flying around in that something. <sighs> all right. Next, we put the pudding, the rest of the pudding. Let's spread that on there. This could feed an army, really. I'm thinking about giving half of it to my sister. I thought about making her a little bowl, and then I thought, well, it'd be a little bit too hard to tape and do that. But you got your pudding right there. your pudding. The next layer is the pineapple. Put that in there. Put pineapple. You could probably use um, tidbit pineapple. Doesn't matter, you can put bananas and coconut and whatever you want. This cool whip wasn't as I didn't have it out of the freezer as long as that other one. But you put your cool whip on there. <laughs> oh, it's just a fun cake. You don't have to take pains with it because you know it's all gonna be dipped out of there and <sighs> Dipped out of there and gobbled all up. It'll be good. It'll be. This would be great for family. Um, I'm gonna have to get some of this, Pauline. That's my sister. All right, we can't eat all this cake. I had forgot. Man, it makes a big cake, doesn't it? Now, the next layer is, I've got this little bit on the next dial, is the, is the nuts, and that does the top of it. Isn't that pretty? We like pecans, pecans, however you want to say them. There you go. There you there's my version of the punch bow cake. Let's see if you can see some of the layers. Can you see some of the pretty layers? Looky there. Alright everybody. I hope you enjoy this cake. I hope it, it's not hard to make at all. Just throw it all together. I will put this in the refrigerator and let it get really cold. And then when I scoop it out, I'll show you a picture. All right, I'll be back. It's messy, but it's oh so good. This is Melissa, cooking from up in the holler. Bye, everybody.